According to the internet, My Hero Academia has fallen off a cliff and is now complete garbage. No. Isn't it crazy how My Hero Academia felt really new and fresh when it came out? Yeah. And now it feels so stale and outdated. Yeah. I, it's kind of crazy how quickly that happened. It's it's weird. It's it's and nobody talks about my hero anymore. But you see, what if they were wrong? Hello everyone, I'm Finn. Welcome back to Finn Films. Join me today as I'd like to discuss with you all how everyone was wrong about My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia tells the story of a young boy, Izuku Midoriya, a boy who lives in a world where the majority of people are born with superpowers and abilities known as quirks. As such, superheroes became the most wanted profession in the entire world, and our young protag Midoriya, better known as Deku, was no different. Deku, however, unlike most of the other people born in this world, was born powerless, was born quirkless. Nevertheless, though, this did not stop him from pursuing his dream of one day becoming a great hero, like his idol, the legendary hero and the symbol of peace, All Might. The My Hero Academia manga debuted in July 2014, written by Koei Horikoshi, and what happened next, I don't think that anyone could have predicted. The first printing of the first volume of My Hero Academia sold out almost immediately, and at the time of recording, the My Hero manga has sold over 85 million copies, making it the 25th best-selling manga of all time. You see, before we can answer the question, did My Hero Academia fall off, we need to cast our minds back to 2014. The anime and manga landscape of 2014 was very different from how it is today. Major streaming services like Netflix were just finally beginning to push into the anime market, but it's still yet to make any serious impact. Series like Naruto were beginning to come to an end, and at this time, a void was beginning to form in the shonen anime world. At the time of My Hero's release, the most popular anime was the gritty, violent world of Attack on Titan, along with the lewd, etchy humor of an anime like Kill la Kill. So the stage was really kind of set for this new breed of shonen manga and anime to set the world by storm. Enter My Hero Academia. My Hero, in many ways, really kind of broke the mold of what people kind of considered the classic shonen battle anime, with its dynamic writing, kick-ass fight scenes, and a kind of refreshing feeling of hope that really permeated every single episode of the story. This, of course, was in stark contrast to the darkness of Attack on Titan, which was very much the most popular anime at the time of uh, My Hero Academia's manga release. The My Hero anime would debut two years after its manga release, in 2016, the anime being adapted by Studio Bones, a studio who at the time was probably most known for its 2003 and 2009 adaptions of Full Metal Alchemist. But you see, the anime debut of My Hero Academia caused people to absolutely lose their goddamn minds. The anime instantly became a success and a hit worldwide, critics and fans heralding it immediately as a worthy successor to the big three of shonen anime, the big three being Bleach, Naruto, and One Piece, a move that immediately created a problem for My Hero Academia. You see, with any series that gets incredibly hyped incredibly quickly, there will always be a backlash, a natural backlash of anti-fans, but we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. The debut of the My Hero anime in 2016 put it in a perfect spot to rise to the top of the shonen anime mountain, and at that time, there was a bit of a vacuum in the shonen anime world, combined with the fact that, well, superheroes, they were in. I mean... At this point, the Marvel fever was beginning to reach its zenith, its peak. Superheroes were back, baby, and the Marvel train was at full steam. As in the same year 2016, Marvel would release Captain America Civil War, one of the most hyped Marvel movies and one of the most uh, praised Marvel movies in the Marvel Extended Universe. My Hero's blend of superhero tropes and characters and personalities, along with a healthy dose of American love with a character like All Might, combined with the fighting style, humor, and flavor of anime, was the perfect recipe to make this series go absolutely wild with a Western audience. 
My Hero, for like many anime and shonen fans, was a real mold breaker. In many ways, it kind of fills the same void and occupies the same kind of tropes as many other like shonen battle anime that have come before it. We think of like our DVDs, your One Pieces, your Naruto's. My Hero is an action fighting anime following a young protagonist who struggles to gain strength to vanquish world threatening foes with a colorful ensemble of supporting characters who help out along the way. Despite this though, My Hero in its first few seasons basically broke away from many of the established tropes that we had come to expect from shonen anime and manga. The many filler arcs, one fight scene taking multiple episodes to get through, flashbacks and exposition mid-fight scene, an overindulgence in tournament arcs, and a choice to move away from the traditional main protag rival turning evil dynamic. My Hero did none of this in its first two seasons, and anime fans, well they took notice. Now I need to probably make this clear right now, I don't really consider myself like a massive My Hero fan. Yes, I enjoy this show, I watched it in its debut back in 2016, and I was excited for its debut. But I don't really consider myself like one of those like die hard like My Hero fans who will defend this show to their very last breath. With that being said though, I do think that season one of My Hero might be like one of the best like debut season ones of like any anime ever. I recently rewatched all the seasons of My Hero when I was prepping to make this video, and I was actually genuinely shocked at how good season one of My Hero still is eight years later after the first time that I ever watched it. Yeah, season one of My Hero came out eight years ago. If that doesn't make you feel old, then I don't know what will. So where did it all go wrong for My Hero? How did this massive popular anime series that broke into the mainstream and was dubbed the next big three anime become so universally agreed upon that it fell off? Well, you see, what if I told you that my hero never actually fell off. Okay, before you finish writing that comment just telling me how absolutely wrong I am, let me at least explain what I mean when I say this. If I had to rate the seasons of My Hero from like best to worst, excluding season 7, because at the time of recording, season 7 is still ongoing, I think I would put it something like this. Season 1, season 2, season 6, season 3, season 5, and finally season 4. It's really the drop off in season four and season five, which like most anime fans agree is where things really started to go wrong with My Hero Academia. Now, I don't really think that there's like one clear answer for why people are seemingly so agreed upon that like My Hero fell off. Really, it's a combination of factors, but it is undeniable that season four of My Hero, especially when you compare it to the first three seasons and you know, the exceptional first season of My Hero was a major step back, and it really couldn't have come at a worse time. At this point in our story, My Hero had been going on strong for three seasons, a new season of My Hero being pumped out every single year since its Japanese anime debut in 2016. At this point, the My Hero fatigue was beginning to set in for some anime fans. The show had ascended, it had been dubbed the next big three in shonen anime, and had just received its first major anime movie in 2018, and fans were already looking forward to the release of season four the following year. This is where things really started to go wrong. My Hero, an anime that had been praised for its high stakes and its lack of filler, suddenly in season 4 had a change of tone. Suddenly, the stakes felt like they had been lowered dramatically. Filler episodes began to pop up left and right, and maybe most shockingly of all, the quality of the art in the animation itself had seemingly gotten worse. Many people attribute this lack of animation quality to the animators being overworked. Shocker, I know, an animation studio overworking their employees. Color me surprised. You combine this with the fact that Studio Bones was now seemingly pouring more of their main resources into the My Hero movies than the show itself. The second My Hero movie, My Hero Academia, Hero Rising, releasing in 2019, just a few months after the lackluster debut of season four. This was really the first time that My Hero had put a foot wrong in three years since its anime debut and people were quick to jump on it. The popularity of My Hero combined with certain, well, 
toxic elements of the fan base, we'll say, created a uh, collection of My Hero anti-fans who were more than happy to see this show take its first misstep. In addition to this and the lackluster debut of season 4, many people had grown tired of the superhero genre. The superhero fatigue was really beginning to set in, the Marvel Cinematic Universe going haywire, pumping out so many movies and TV series left and right, many other production companies as well jumping on the superhero bandwagon with them. I mean, the amount of superhero content that was pumped out from like 2010 to like 2023 is absolutely fun insane. I'm not just talking about like Marvel and DC, it really did feel like every single streaming company, every production company wanted to get involved with the superhero action, and enough was finally enough. Many people, including myself, had grown tired of the superhero genre. We wanted something new, we wanted something fresh, and we wanted something different. The fall of My Hero from Season 3 to Season 4 in its story, its pacing, and its animation quality, combined with this superhero fatigue, created a perfect storm. Now, you see, with any anime, any show, especially shonen battle anime, there will always be lulls. You can't expect a show to get better with each season. It's just not possible. It doesn't work like that. There's always going to be ebbs and flows, highs and lows. And the down that was My Hero Season 4 came at possibly the worst time. That's because Lurking in the Shadows was a new anime. A new challenger was approaching, a challenger that was darker, grittier, and more adult. An anime that was waiting to knock My Hero off its pedestal. Enter into our story, Kimetsu no Yaiba, better known as Demon Slayer. You see, the anime fanbase is, well, a kind of fickle bunch, and the anime manga world is a cutthroat one to say the least. There will always be a new show that comes along that grabs the fanbase's attention, and the debut of Demon Slayer in April of 2019 really was the catalyst for the fall of grace of My Hero Academia. Suddenly there was this new kid in town, a darker, edgier kid that was telling a more adult story about a swordsman who slays f demons, and people were losing their sh**. Demon Slayer really kind of set the stage for this re-emergence of the dark shonen, a callback to the more grittier shonens of the past and the violent themes of an anime like Attack on Titan. And unfortunately for my hero, things were only going to get worse. Later that same year, Studio Wit released their first season of Vinland Saga, a dark historical anime drama that follows a young viking named Torfinn on his bloody quest for revenge. And it's goddamn amazing. The anime world suddenly found a new love for the dark, gritty, and realistic shonen anime. Horrible timing for the drop-off that happened in the fourth season of My Hero, which happened in the same year, and then was quickly followed up by the release of the second My Hero movie. Things only continued to get worse for My Hero in 2020, with the debut of another giga-popular dark shonen, MAPPA's adaptation of Jujutsu Kaisen. The tides had officially turned in the anime world, and the dark shonen was officially the new hot thing. My Hero wouldn't see another anime season release until season 5 in 2021, a season that again suffered from a lot of the same problems as season 4. Studio Bones seemingly again focusing more of their resources on the third My Hero movie, which would release later that year. But for many fans, this was the final straw for My Hero. As well, the superhero fatigue was now in full effect due to the oversaturation by Marvel, and unfortunately seasons 4 and 5 of My Hero just weren't as good as the first three seasons, and this really couldn't have come at a worse time, as all of a sudden there were these new kids on the block. Demon Slayer and JJK had now taken the world by storm, and with their insane quality of animation and awesome worlds along with dark adult themes, it seems like the tides had finally turned. My hero, at least according to everyone on the internet, had officially fallen off. And somehow, despite all of this, things only got worse. It was a map of world now, and we were all just living in it. 2021 saw the return of Attack on Titan in Attack on Titan the final season. 2022 saw the hugely hyped release of Chainsaw Man, with 2023 being followed up by the debut of Hell's Paradise, completing MAPPA's Dark Shonen Big 3. Meanwhile, at the same time, Demon Slayer had followed up on its hugely successful Season 1 with its Season 2, featuring the Mugen Train arc and the Entertainment District arc. 
You combine all of these amazing shows with the fact that streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime were now fully into the anime game, releasing their own official anime productions like the amazing cyberpunk anime, and all of a sudden, we're living in an anime paradise. I mean, the amount of like top tier anime that was released since 2019 is like absolutely staggering. There's been so many banger anime that have come out since this time that I think people just forgot about My Hero Academia. I think this is really why so many people overlooked season 6 of My Hero, which would debut in October of 2022, a season that I actually think is really fucking good. Unfortunately though, My Hero's time in the spotlight had officially faded. Many people had just become jaded after the drop off of My Hero in seasons 4 and 5, along with the release of so many other good anime that a lot of people I don't think ever gave season 6 of My Hero a real chance. Which I think is unfortunate, as I think season 6, in my opinion, really rights a lot of the wrongs that occurred from seasons 4 and 5. Gone are the filler arcs and episodes, the stakes have suddenly been raised once again, and maybe, most shockingly of all, My Hero had suddenly become dark and gritty. As season 6 of My Hero covers the events of the Paranormal Liberation War arc as well as the Dark Hero arc and gives us a new look at our once plucky underdog main character, Deku. And now we are finally brought into the present, into 2024 and the release of season 7 of My Hero Academia, the season covering an all-out battle between heroes and villains for the fate of the world, the final war arc. And I have to say, so far at the time of recording, it's pretty fucking great. So we then ask ourselves the question once again, did My Hero Academia really fall off? No, I don't really think that it did. If anything, it might have actually just been overhyped from the start. As we've seen with like any super popular anime or TV series, you cannot expect for a show to continue to get better with each season. It's just not possible. There is always going to be lulls, there is always going to be down moments or a season that just doesn't live up to your expectations. I mean, even a newly beloved show like Demon Slayer has recently found this out and is not immune to this, as many of the fans were disappointed in the Swordsman Village arc season. Unfortunately though, for my hero, season 1 of this anime was so damn good and there was a lull in anime that it was catapulted onto the zenith of the mountain that is shonen anime. But like with basic any other anime, it was really only a matter of time until it came crashing back down to earth. This is just the cycle of anime of really any show or ongoing media in general, especially something like shonen battle anime, all of which basically suffer from the same pitfalls and problems, being power creep and a perpetual cycle of raising the stakes of the world in conjunction with the power of the protagonist. My Hero though unfortunately had its drop off in seasons 4 and 5 at like possibly the worst time ever, putting it up against the likes of Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan the End, End, Finland Saga, JJK, Baki Hanma, Cyberpunk, Blue Lock, there was just too many good anime that came out at this time to list them all. This kind of thing is like something that we see in like the world of sports a lot. A new superstar comes along and claims the title of the greatest player in their respective sport. But you see, there's always a bigger fish out there in the ocean. There will always be another young, hungry athlete that comes along just waiting for the superstar to show any signs of weakness so they can claim their throne. This, in many ways, is basically what happened to my hero. Despite what YouTube and the internet might tell you, as it basically has become the official narrative that My Hero Academia has fallen off a cliff, I just don't think that's true. I mean, My Hero has released seven seasons at the time of recording, and out of those seven seasons, I'd say that five of them are objectively good, with seasons four and five being the main outliers. And that, to me, doesn't really sound like an anime that has fallen off, does it? No, as I've done my best to show here over this very long rant, My Hero didn't fall off. It just suffered from a lot of the same pitfalls and problems that many other shonen have suffered before it. Pacing and power creep being the classic pitfalls of like all shonen battle anime, and My Hero is no exception to this. If anything, the main thing that My Hero has suffered from is really how quickly it got thrust into the spotlight. 
I mean, the fact that after its very exceptional first season, fans were so quick to herald it as the next big three, the real true successor to a series like Naruto, if you combine this with oversaturation of superhero media, pacing issues, and an inevitable subpar season or two, as well as the rise of crazy popular dark shonen anime like Demon Slayer and JJK, the perceived fall off of an anime like My Hero Academia, to me at least, begins to make a lot more sense. If you are someone who gave up on My Hero back in seasons four and five, I highly encourage you to give season six and seven a shot. I think that you actually might be really pleasantly surprised by the real turn that My Hero Academia has taken in these two seasons. So then the penultimate question, did My Hero fall off? No, I really don't think it did. If anything, it might have gotten maybe too hyped too fast, and unfortunately, its down lull seasons of seasons 4 and 5 came at possibly the worst possible time ever. The rise of some of the newest, hottest, most hyped uh, dark shonen anime of all time with Demon Slayer, JJK, Chainsaw Man, and the rest. If anything, My Hero didn't fall off. It just got forgotten. As always though guys, with these videos, these are just my thoughts and opinions, so feel free to let me know yours in the comment section down below. Let me know, did you think that My Hero has fallen off? Do you think that season seven and six of My Hero are actually just trash and I'm crazy? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always guys, thank you so much for watching this video and continuing to support me. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as that is the easiest way to help support me and it helps put the videos in the algorithm. These videos take me a long time to make from the writing to the scripting to the editing. So your likes, comments, and subscribes really do a lot to help support me and help keep this channel alive. If you did enjoy this video, then why don't you check out some of our other anime content on screen now. Once again, guys, thank you for continuing to support me. I hope to see you in the next one. Drink your water, hug your mother. Until next time, peace, love, adieu.